video, we'd like to show you how to put together this block. It's dimensional, but it has the look of a traditional flat block with these wonderful tulips in a corner. And I think this video will help you. Now we make our dimensional paddles by putting our, a copy of our pattern on top of two pieces of fabric that are right side together in thin polyester bonded batting. We're going to sew on the solid line. You can back stitch here and here and then cut on the outside dash line and cut down the middle as well and then you're going to take your paper out turn it right side out and press it you want just a light heat you don't want a heavy heat so it, it's the loft will remain uh, nice on your batting i'll this show you the next done by piecing four little tulips and then we'll put those together and you're going to paper piece one, two, three. Now, when you're trimming, uh, one of the problems with foundation piecing is you can't press the dark away uh, from the light, and so you'll get shadows. So what you can do is undercut the dark, so cut it smaller than that seam, and then you won't get the shadow. See how when that comes out, that won't you can see the shadow here and not here. Okay, then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to machine baste where the flower goes into the seam, the little petals. Look at your pattern, it'll, it'll show you that. And that will transfer the location of the petals to this side. Then you're going to place your dimensional petals, quarter of an inch past that line. Now always put the same one down first. Okay, like that. And then you'll pin that to secure it. Then, of course, you'll cut... Uh, white strips and foundation piece four and five place it right side down uh, so the fabric the bulk is opposite the area you're trying to cover you're going to trim this out so you have undercut that again then that will fold back and cover the seams and then of course you'll do the green always keeping the whatever you do six always keep it the light or the dark green always keep it the same so you'll get this cool design in the in the corner here and then that's done we'll put the four together now this pattern we've um, done a little fun thing for you you know how this uh, paper piecing they come out nice and straight but the edges will be uh, sometimes a little crooked and you need to square them so we've left a little extra white on these edges so that you can uh, check here check your line and check the size so that it's square and you'll have plenty to keep your points at a quarter of an inch behind that edge so that you won't cut your points off. That's always been a frustration for me is to straighten and then I've got, uh, I'm cutting my points to get it straight. So we've tried to leave a little extra for you so that you can keep your points. Now our block is finished and we've put it into a darling classic white apron it is just beautiful. The pattern is a download on our website, so be sure to check it out. It also comes with a smaller block that's uh, put into a whole quilt, and I think you'll just love it.